Hey everyone, Jeff Teague here, Toyota Jeff Reviews. I'm with Jeff Perez from MotorOne.com and we're driving in the new Grand Highlander. This is the platinum all-wheel drive gasoline version. We're gonna get some video inside, outside. I'm gonna give you a first look around inside, then we're gonna drive it. So here we go, if you look at the platinum, it's got chrome, gloss, LED lights everywhere. This is a new coastal cream color. Has those beautiful 20 inch wheels. We're going all the way around. Not the best place to film, my friends, but maybe it is. Look at this. We're on the big island in Hawaii. Woo! <laughs> Very cool. So let's keep going all the way around here. LED tail lights. And then if you look here, it's just a very clean look all the way around. We've got some lines, but really, it's just a very clean, clean look. In the back, you've got 20.6 cubic feet of space. That's enough for seven pieces of, we'll call it smaller luggage, maybe carry-ons, but it can do that. And then you can put this down. If you put this down, then you're going to get just under 60 cubic feet. I think it's 59.7. And then if you open up the first row all the way back with the second row down, you get 97.5 cubic feet of space. Some things you could look out for, there's room for a tablet. The hydro flask, a big hydro flask will fit there too. We got USBs, seven USB-Cs, tie downs there. A little bit of space. Now remember, this is not the hybrid or hybrid max. It's the 2.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. So 265 and 310 for horsepower and torque. Here's the room in the back. I've seen personally somebody six foot five sitting back here and they fit. In the ads for Grand Highlander, a six foot two grandfather sat back here with his family. Looked very comfortable. So you can put the seat forward like this. You can put it down. Good headroom here though. All right, so we've got space for a hydro flask will fit there. Right here, sunshade, nice. This is a removable right here, tray table. So you can take that out and then you got plenty of room. And you can see when Jeff moved this up a little bit, we've got more leg room got the AC right there. We've got USB-Cs. Look at this, rear heated and cooled seats. So everybody gets to be comfortable. That's a nice touch. Then you got the opening panoramic roof so everybody gets air. And this is a nice look here. It's a really nice look. We got dual 12.3 inch screens. So Jeff, this is the gasoline version, 265 horsepower, 310 pound-feet of torque. How did it feel like just starting off for the first time? Um, it's got good acceleration. It's a little, maybe a little bit sluggish off the, off the jump, but it's not too bad. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I found that the seats are actually really comfortable. They got good support, it seems like, on the sides. It's a nice ride, though. It's got independent multi-link suspension in the back, independent McPherson struts in the front. What else can we talk about? This is the, if this is the gasoline version, then this would be the direct shift eight speed automatic. And you can get this either in the front wheel drive or you can get it in the dynamic torque control all wheel drive, which would have, which is what this is. And it's got mud and sand, rock and dirt, sport, eco, snow. Normal, of course, and then downhill assist control. So while Jeff drives, I'm going to show you around. So we, yeah, we can see the road, but let's focus on the cabin. You've got heated and cooled seats, digital dual temperature controls, and this is the 12.3 inch Toyota Audio Multimedia. So you can get your Apple CarPlay going. You can get your Android Auto going. Which one were we on? Oh, we were on Google. Yeah, there we go. So this is the route we're taking, about an hour long trip. It's got easy to use controls, leather wrapped steering wheel here. This is the 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster here. And you can change your theme. So it looks different, your styles, sporty, casual, smart, normal, that kind of stuff. 
we've got wireless charging here. I also like that it's got a spot up here to put your phones. Lots of storage here. Toyota wanted to make sure that we knew you could put a pretty thick Hydro Flask down here. You can see the faux wood grain trim. How do you guys like the brown interior? That's an interesting choice with this coastal cream, but it makes sense to put the two together. Here, we've got mud and sand, rock and dirt, eco, sport, snow, downhill assist control. You could do the engine start and stop. If you don't like that feature where it shuts off at traffic lights and stop signs, well, you just turn it off. But you do that, the default is to have it on. So let's look inside here. All right, we've got lots of room and it goes all the way down, so I'm about Almost elbow deep, my friends. Elbow deep. One feature on the Platinum that I wouldn't mind talking about here, this little visor up here, that's actually got sensors, got camera. It's watching your eyes to see if you're slumped down. If you're looking over here, if you're watching the scenery, and it will let you know, it'll say driver inattention alert. So they want you to stay focused. When I was testing out a different vehicle, it told me I was sitting down and to sit upright because it couldn't see my eyes. So that's a way it just, we're all distracted these days. It's a way to just sort of keep us focused. So let's get a feel for going around turns here. See how that multi-link suspension tightens up around corners. The whole theme to multi-link suspension is it's nice and smooth when you're on straightaways like the highway and not roads like this but it tightens up it's more responsive going around turns so you kind of get the best of both worlds similar to what van halen or hannah montana would say look at the shape of that hill right there i would like to film my walk around right there on the very tippy top what do you guys say boy we are cruising down some downhill curves here you know, it's pretty smooth, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, this is nice, but look at this view. That's why I wanted to film this for you guys. Yeah, you know what? These are better roads than what we were driving up further on the hill. This is real smooth. All right, so let's just start. This is a zero to 60 time of about 7.5 seconds, and it's just a little bit longer than that for the hybrid. I believe it's 7.8, but please don't quote me on that. So if you want to go with similar power, but better gas mileage, you could consider the hybrid option. Maybe that's the way to go for you. But for me, this one, I like how it drives. Now these roads aren't exactly the most even roads. It took that bump just a little bit. Pretty nice. I feel like the vehicle's real spacious inside. I can get easy access to all the buttons and controls that I need. Yeah, this is nice. And of course, you can give the car voice commands. I'm going to try it. Hey, Toyota. Okay, Toyota. How can I help you? What is my driving range? Okay, so it told me 284. You can even give it a lot more information. You can say, uh, okay, Toyota. How can I help you? Tell me a joke. I ate a clock the other day. It was very time consuming. Okay, see, that's a great dad joke. I would appreciate that. I ate a clock. It was very time consuming. Are we laughing? All right. Something else you could see is you might pay attention right here. We've got the digital camera going on here. So it shows pretty much everything that you want to see. It's clear and that way if people's heads are in the way or just the headrests, you don't see them in the second and third row. You've got an unobstructed view of the back. Let's go around. Looks like we've got some turns here. The road's getting very thin. And you know, I have a wide car. I've got a longer vehicle. It's six and a half inches longer than regular Highlander but it feels like it's in control of the road. I don't feel like it's too huge for me or maybe for my wife or just anybody riding in it. You have control of the road. You are the captain now. Yeah, this is good going around some turns. Doesn't, doesn't feel labored at all by any means. 
the one thing I'd say is if you want power, I would go with the Hybrid Max Platinum because that gives you 362 horsepower and 400 pound-feet of torque. Now that's a view. It's pretty cool, right, Joe? Yeah. So what's it like um, sitting in the passenger seat? What are your observations? I always have a hard time with uh, seats in general. These are pretty nice and, and comfortable. The shape is a little strange to me, but otherwise I'm, I'm pretty comfortable. That's good. Do you have leg room? I got good leg room, yeah. Even if I move back a little bit, I, uh, I got nice leg room here. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I like the materials too. It's, um, it's an interesting choice of brown interior. I'm not a big fan of brown myself, but I don't mind this. And I guess it looks good with the coastal cream. It's just, it's different. And one thing you do notice is there are a lot of different colors and textures that kind of break up in all, let's say an all brown interior, all beige interior, all black. I appreciate that. As long as it doesn't look too busy and too gross because there's too much going on. Seems good. Yeah, the only reason I'm filming this one right here is it's just a downhill winding and I wanted to show you some of the scenes of Hawaii. Hopefully we get that in the camera here. It's beautiful, I'm very grateful that I got invited to go to Hawaii and I'm glad I can show you this stuff. Ooh, this is really cool, but I'll tell you what, thin roads, it handles itself nicely. I don't feel like this is too big in the least and this is a, an even better test than what I tried back there. All right, so this will be a good test here. We came down the hill. I believe we're about to head up the hill and remember, this is gonna be the one that's not hybrid max. So we're gonna probably hear the engine. I don't know if it's gonna struggle, but I would guess it might feel labored. Actually, it doesn't feel labored at all. God, I'm gonna get motion sick. <laughs> now, Jeff, your impression might be completely different, but I did not feel like that one struggled. I expect it was going to struggle, and granted, maybe the hill wasn't as steep as I remembered going down, but I didn't think that was bad. Yeah. I, I was kind of surprised by that. And I do like the Nay Nay Crossing sign. I didn't know Nay Nay was a bird, but it said Nay Nay Crossing, so maybe Nay Nay is Hawaiian for bird. I don't know. And then let's just get the view from the back. And then let's get the view here. How do you like this? Thanks so much for watching. What do you think of Grand Highlander? Are you a fan? What jumped out at you? See you next time.